welcome! My name is Jocelyn and today I thought we would get ready with me. We are going to be talking about winter things, winter plans, and all things exciting about the month of December. I have a list right here of pointers to talk about because sometimes in get ready with me is I kind of lose my mind and forget what I'm talking about. So hopefully that'll keep me a little on track and give me enough content to talk about, but I think we'll be good. I am going to be using some products today. If I forget to mention anything, hopefully it'll be listed down below, but let me just give you a couple tips about what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using, I think, these two palettes. They're both Tarte palettes, the Tarte Linen Bloom and the Make Believe in Yourself. Also an Ofra highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk. And then also just kind of, I think, some staple products from my collection, things that I've used and loved many a times before. I do need to pin my bangs back so they're not in the way. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I put my tree up the day after Thanksgiving. If I would have had it my way, it would have been up before then, but I ended up ordering it online on Amazon because my cat broke my tree last year. Yes, we have fake trees because we live in an apartment and it would be a mess if we got a real tree. I think we tried that once before in an apartment. No, it wasn't an apartment. It was a house we were renting and it was just, it was a disaster. So maybe when we get a real house, a real house, maybe when we get a house, we will get a real tree. But for now we have a fake tree. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I ordered a tree online and I thought, mm, you know, we live in an apartment. We don't need a big tree. So I ordered one that was four and a half feet. I made the mistake of not looking at the customer pictures. I just looked at the pictures that were provided online and I thought it was gonna be much fluffier than, much fluffier and much taller than it ended up being. It ended up being super short and super sparse. It looked like a Charlie Brown tree. It was no good, but I was like, well, whatever. I paid 25 bucks for it, so we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it. It's, you know, our last year probably in this apartment, and we're gonna get a house, hopefully, fingers crossed, next year, that we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna send it with this tree. So Thursday was Thanksgiving. My tree got to my house on Friday. I set it up. It was disappointing. We are going to start with the Tarte Linen Bloom palette. I'm gonna be using just kind of some of these neutral shades and then some of these darker shades. And then I think I wanna go in with the shade Crystal. It's this one right here. It's this really pretty, like taupey, purpley, icy lilac. Let me just throw some words at you, color. I don't know, you can see that right there. It's a really pretty color. I wanna do something kind of neutral because I think I wanna film a couple of videos today. Okay, back to my story. So. Set my tree up on Friday. Very disappointed with it, but was rolling with it anyways because I spent the money. Well, my mom and I went shopping on Saturday, and so she came into my apartment, took my car out into town, walked into my apartment, took one look at my tree and said, nope, 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 we're gonna go get you a new tree today. And I was like, excuse you. So, long story short, my mom was less than impressed with my tree, which makes sense because it was very less than impressive, and she went and bought me a different tree, much fuller, much more beautiful, and had built-in lights, and it had two, eight different settings, so you could make them colorful, you could make them like a warm white light, uh, you could make it switch between the two, all kinds of settings. I went from zero to 10 real fast on my Christmas tree. And I'm actually really happy that my mom did that for us because there's just something about having a tree that you like during the Christmas season. I like it so much that, I mean, I'm gonna probably try to insert a picture and I'll insert the one that I have that has the other tree next to it so you can see the difference between it because the difference is quite significant. So Saturday, I went shopping with my mom. We got some Christmas gifts. We got the tree, came back home, set the new tree up, and actually the boys, the boys as in my husband, my roommate, were at work on Saturday. Me and Mariana were home, and that's when I came home with the tree, and so we not only set up the tree, but we rearranged the entire living room <laughs> to accommodate it because it was significantly bigger than not only the tree that I had just gotten, but also the tree from last year, so that was quite the challenge. I really like the way our living room is set up now. You know, I want to warm this look up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I think I'm gonna pull in, wait, no, I want something more purpley. So I want this look to be a little more purpley. It's looking a little gray right now. So I'm gonna go in with this single eyeshadow by ColourPop in the shade Get Out. And I wanna put that in the outer crease, probably just the outer V area, because I just want it a little more colorful than it's looking right now. There, that adds a little bit of life, right? Okay, 
so where was I so my house is very Christmas fied right now I'm really really enjoying it and then now I think I'm gonna go in with this shader brush and we're gonna go pick up that well I'm gonna wet it first so that is how my December has started so far today is December first you're not gonna be seeing this for I think a week ish though maybe even a week and a half because I'm kind of pre-filming right now because I'm going out of town to Disneyland I'm so very very excited I will actually be in the park a week from now from when I'm filming this and I am so so stoked we are leaving December 7th Alex and I are driving down to the park so it's like an 11 hour drive from where we live definitely not a short drive this definitely looks a lot more yellow than I was expecting so we're driving down for on a Friday we're getting to the hotel that Friday next Friday and then it's Saturday is our first day in the park and then our friends are meeting us they are flying down Saturday morning and are taking a bus from LAX to the park and they're meeting us you know at the park we are sharing a hotel room so we'll probably have to leave for a little bit from the park to go meet them to let them into the hotel room and then we'll all meet up go to the hotel room and then head back to the park I am obviously very excited if you know my channel at all you know that I'm pretty into Disneyland and all things Disney. Uh, the friends that we're going with are people that I have wanted to go to Disneyland with for a while now, so I think it's going to be really cool. They're also, you know, big fans of the parks. It's always good to go with people who like Disney and are excited about the adventure and the parks and the rides and all of that, so it should be really fun. Also, while we're gone, I think that the first one will already be up, but I have vlogs from the last time Alex and I went last year, so I'm planning on putting those up two of them are well one of them is fully edited one of them's almost fully edited but i have to add some kind of ending to it because we kind of just stopped vlogging suddenly so there's those two should be going up uh, relatively soon and then we have one more vlog that's actually from the same trip but from san diego because we went to disneyland universal studios and then down to san diego for our honeymoon so it's our honeymoon vlog and all three of those should be going up in december i'm very excited about that let me put my eyeliner on and then we'll pick back up in a second well don't love that but we're gonna go ahead and just roll with it maybe i'll do my makeup again later probably not so okay we're gonna move on to the face gonna use the makeup forever step one smoothing primer what else is on my list what was I just talking about I was talking about Disneyland I was talking about uploading right okay so those vlogs should go up because they're basically done being edited well not really holy god oh it got all over my sh you can't see that what the heck this primer just exploded all over my shirt can you see that wow that was rude okay so yes vlogs uploads Disneyland so we are leaving for Disneyland in a week. I'm pre-filming and also in December, this is something else I should probably not announce because I don't know if I'll be able to stick to it, but I really want to increase my upload schedule for December. I think I wanna try and upload three times a week, if not more, but more might not be possible. One, because I have a full-time job. Two, because you know it's a very busy time of year with family and festivities and content. Um, I don't really know if I'll have enough content for the month to upload three plus times a week, but I'm gonna do my best. I do have some videos planned, so I have those vlogs going up, which I'm really excited about. If you're watching this, you probably maybe are somebody who would be watching those vlogs because like these get ready with me videos get kind of the least amount of views on my channel, which is fine because I like doing them. The people who watch them seem to really like them. Going in with the Cover FX Foundation, let me interrupt myself. So putting up those vlogs, very excited about them. I think you will be too if you watch them. Maybe it'll bring people, different people to my channel also, people who like Disney perhaps, or you know, just like vlogs. If you watch them, you'll have to let me know what you think of them. They were filmed a year ago, so <laughs> they're a bit old, and it was our first time vlogging ever, so Alex did most of the talking, Okay, I should probably just finish my foundation and then continue because I don't wanna sit here and beat my face while I talk to you. <laughs> okay, I think my foundation's done. So, back on track talking about the vlogs. I'm going to be putting those up over the course of the next week and a half, but I think I'm going to put up a vlog and then a makeup video and then a vlog and then a makeup video, something like that, so that the people who maybe don't like the vlogs can stick around for a not vlog and won't have to wait like a week between 
that looks very light oh my god so those should be going up again i'm very excited about that like i said we're going back to disneyland i kind of want to try and vlog again because i had so much fun the first time but i'm not totally sure how comfortable the people i'm going with are about that so i've asked them because i'm not just gonna like show up and point a camera in their face that's just like not my jam oh i got that right in my eyeliner so we'll see it'd be cool they're gonna come over and like watch the vlog our first vlog that we're gonna put up i think on wednesday this will go up after that vlog though so that again should already be up before this goes up so i'm gonna show them the first vlog so they get an idea of what it's like and then they can kind of decide like oh actually yeah that's something that we'd be interested in or oh no you know not too comfortable with that which is fine totally fine but it would be cool to have those memories on film and be able to share them with you for anybody who'd be interested so hopefully that'll happen but we shall see i mean you'll know if vlogs go up from this trip or not if it happened or not i do want to hear from you i mean i like vlogging events so like vacations stuff like that maybe exciting things that happen or trips we go on but what do you what do you think about vlogs anybody out there like watching vlogs sorry if my camera angle moved a bit it ran out of space so i had to like turn it around and move the tripod a bunch so anyways moving on oh yeah i want to hear from you like what do you watch if you watch vlogs what kind of vlogs do you watch or do you just hate vlogs you pass right over them i would love some input down below We are all powdered and set. What are we gonna do next? I think I feel like I need to like, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some contour on my face because why not move to the cheeks? I'm gonna use the shade in the uh, Kat Von D shade and light palette. It is currently in my winter project pant. So I like to get some use out of it. Well, it's actually the only one that I use right now. I don't have too many contour bronzer shades. So when one is in a project pan, I just kind of stick to that one only. Do, 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 do. Oh, what I'm doing, what I have to do. The next week of my life is gonna be so busy. I have to film this video. I have another video that I wanna film. I have one, two, three, four videos that I have to edit, finish editing, maybe more if I can start. But also, I don't think I mentioned this yet, pretty sure I haven't mentioned this yet, is that I am getting ready, prepping, to film another declutter series so that's very exciting i kind of have to like mentally prepare and start watching videos so that i get myself in that mindset of you don't need all this stuff like stuff that you're not using you don't need in that declutter series anything that i get rid of that is still in relatively good condition that wasn't sent to me i am going to be posting on poshmark my poshmark is always listed down below but decluttering is coming i'm a little worried because i don't expect that I'll be getting rid of a whole lot of certain categories like eyeshadow palettes and like face palettes that kind of thing which I shouldn't be upset about like I'm, I'm not upset about it but I shouldn't be really concerned about it because it's my makeup collection I should be able to do what I want with it but you know there's always those people on declutter videos who are like oh you didn't get rid of anything I'm expecting that on some of the videos but I'm definitely going to kind of separate it out I think I have eight declutter videos on my list because I want to make sure that I do it the way that people like doing it so people really like talk through declutters where you don't just like show with music playing over it what you're decluttering but they really like when people people seem to like when you really go through each product and talk about why you're keeping it or why you're decluttering it so in order to make that happen and it's beneficial for me i'm going to really separate it into different categories so i'll do i mean eyeshadow palettes but again that one's not going to be very much and then i'll probably do liquid lipsticks because i think i have around 45 four of them and then lipsticks so i'll do those in two separate categories single eyeshadows um foundations primers concealers that kind of thing and then blushes bronzers highlights maybe i'll throw highlight or face pal i'll probably throw palette face palettes into that one also so i'm excited it's you know about time to declutter my collection and then maybe at the beginning of next year i'll do another collection inventory i think i posted my last one in july so it's been not quite a year maybe Maybe I'll wait until next month to do a collection inventory, but definitely grown in some areas, maybe shrink in others. Oh, I still haven't fixed that eyeliner. Has <laughs> that bothered anybody? So I'm really excited to film those. I might try and film those before I leave, just so I have them ready to go, ready to edit, but we'll see if I end up having time because I have 
to edit a bunch of videos, film a couple more videos before we leave. I have to clean the house significantly because I have a friend coming to watch the cats while we're gone. And then I want to get as much Christmas present shopping done as possible. We did a lot already, but there are definitely a handful of things that I still have to get. I think I know just about everything that I'm getting. And then on top of getting the presents, I want to wrap as many presents because for some reason that always takes for freaking ever. Let's put some eyebrows on my face, shall we? I don't know, they look okay. I feel like that's how I feel about my entire makeup look today is meh, it looks okay. What do I have left? I have lips and mascara. Is that it? What else do I have to talk about? I feel like there's so much I want to talk about. Ooh, in the next get ready with me, I think I'm going to be talking about my college experience. You know, just kind of why I decided the major that I decided. It has, you know, a little bit to do with my family history, what I initially went into college expecting, which is very different from what I ended up doing. Maybe college regrets, things that I would do differently if I could go back. My roommate horror story, perhaps. I don't know, that feels a little weird talking about that just because like it wasn't all bad. Can you hear that? Is that a garbage can outside? Finish up my mascara and hopefully he will be gone. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's cold. Okay, I think Mr. Garbage Man is finished. I'm trying to decide between two different lipsticks. I have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hypno, and then I have the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Frickin' Frack. Frickin' Frack's definitely one of my favorites, but it's a little more warmed tone than Hypno is. Do I want to play into the warm tones of this eye look or the purpley tones? I think the purpley tones. Well, let's go ahead and try it out. Ooh. That's much darker than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I should've put a liner on. Oh God, this is kind of dry. Oh boy. Mm, I mean, the application doesn't look too bad, but let's find the liner that matches. That'll have to do. There is the finished look. You fluff up my hair a little perhaps. Yeah. All right, well, this video was kind of a disaster. I'm sorry if I got awkward in the middle of that. My roommates came in and that always makes me feel uncomfortable because I know they can hear me through the walls. Sorry if that was very noticeable in the in the, in the this video. It's kind of the, the price you pay for having roommates. I love them to death, but for now, it's what we're dealing with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I asked a bunch of questions in this video. I hope maybe you answered a couple down in the comments below so that we could chat a little bit. I'm very excited about December. It's probably my most favorite month out of the year. And I think that's gonna do it for this Get Ready With Me. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. And if you wanna subscribe for more content from me, don't forget to do so before you go. All buttons are down below. That was so cheesy, oh my God. I really should probably change my outro. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Could you even see my finger? Okay, bye. <laughs>